We're just over halfway to um, Crookhaven. Hello, Glenn. Oh, hi! <laughs> Welcome aboard! <laughs> Sun is trying to break out for us, Glenn. All it needs is a little gap. It'll clear itself off. Is that how it works? That's how it works. <laughs> it just gets through and pushes it away. Yeah. Come on, son. Very different day from when we travelled to Garstveen. But still beautiful in its own right. And we're still looking at the majestic Skelligs a little bit further away, but still on the horizon. in all our wet gear and didn't really need it. Well, Glenn might have because I'm in the, under the hood. Did you need the wet gear? Hi, you might recognize me from other videos. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we're, the blue sky. we're really excited because there's blue skies coming our way. Woo! And, and we're sailing, can you hear it? Yeah. No sounds. Apart from Rita, our auto helm, who's like a little mm. Trojan there. But yeah, it is beautiful and we had dolphins join us once again. This has really been the trip of the dolphins. So yeah. We must be the dolphin, fa dolphin fanciers. What? The dolphin fanciers. You know those people who track things and a uh, pigeon fa fancier? <laughs> <laughs> a pigeon fancier. Instead of going coo 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 look. That sounds, that sounds like a kangaroo. <laughs> I don't know what kind of dolphins sound like that, Glenn. Kerry ones, cork ones. I don't know, but we're getting sunshine. We'll be down to our swimsuits shortly. That's so exciting. <laughs> I'd be happy with like even just to be able to have a pair of shorts on. <laughs> Not getting wet. But it is just stunning out here we're so lucky yeah and enjoying every minute and glenn made delicious breakfast well it's kind of uh brunch i guess yeah um, yeah so here's to the blue skies following Blue's us along. yeah happy out with the dolphins that sound like kangaroos <laughs> <laughs> That there is sunshine. That there is. So that you're. Um... My singing. Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. That's oh, fabulous, I was gonna. I know. That's his ritual to get the sun shining. Yep. And it works. Proven by the Aborigines and the foreign uh, native Indians. Foreign. To foreign, well, they're foreign to here. Uh, the American Indians all use uh, tribal dances like that using Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. And if you think it's going to be sunny tomorrow, the sun will come out tomorrow. Bet your bottom dollar that tomorrow. I think we need to change course. That was amazing, Glenn. Fair play to you. Keep singing so the sun keeps shining. This is our uh, saying goodbye. We're just kind of turning the corner, so we're saying goodbye to Kerry and the Skellig. Yeah. It has been a blast. For sure. And we're wrecked. Oh, we're not too bad. Aren't we? No, well, I am. <laughs> I'm wrecked.
Missing Head, the most southwest point of Ireland, stretching out into the Atlantic. So we head across now into uh, Cookhaven, behind this headland here, tucked in nice and neat. Looking across then, we can see the outline of Cape Clear. Like babe? It is like a dream. Like a dream to me. <laughs> so we had a fantastic sail yesterday to Crookhaven and got in kind of around seven o'clock in the evening. Yeah. So uh, we just moored there for the night and had dinner and went to bed early. And now we're heading to Cape Clear. Yeah. And this morning didn't dress for rain at all and now I've just looked out to the Atlantic and it is like rain clouds so hopefully that's going to just bypass us completely and we're just going along with our head sail out just getting pulled across the bay a nice little uh, westerly breeze so uh, we should be there with, in less than two hours, which is fantastic. That's a very short trip. We, we're, not, we're not used to journeys like that on this trip. No. So, Glenny, you need to start doing your um, singing ritual thing for the rain. Because the sun will come out. Today. Today. <laughs> for longer. Sun, sun, Mr. Golden Sun, please shine down on me. <laughs> Our Cape Clear was blocked up to the last, so uh, we decided to head away from there. Yeah. It's pretty, really, because it's a beautiful little island that we'd love to have shown. But Glenn did an epic turn inside <laughs> of the channel, which, which we didn't, very which, we, <laughs> which we didn't manage to record. <laughs> How to turn in the length of your own boat? <laughs> yeah, pretty incredible. So we're heading now to Shirkin Island and see how we get on there. We had hoped to anchor on Shirkin Island, so we went in on the tender um, to just have a look around. It's such a beautiful little island. Uh, unfortunately, the pontoon wasn't put in because of COVID this year. So because there was a bit of adverse weather forecast, we decided to uh, mosey across to uh, Baltimore, where the sun was shining, but the weather did catch up on us. Did you have a good sleep last night? No, last night was a dreadful night's sleep. <laughs> we had squeaking moorings, the wind went into the northwest, which blew us against the pontoon. So uh, yeah, we had a really bad night's sleep last night. But um, we're safe, nothing is damaged. Our, so all is good. It's sailing life. That's the sailing life, just nights that's gonna happen. Yeah, it's not always like perfect conditions. No. No. See these bags? See these bags? They're not sleeping bags. Thanks for watching our video. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please press like, subscribe and ring the bell. I think that's what everyone says. Isn't yeah, it? I think that's, that's the correct terminology. Yeah. Uh, no idea really <laughs> apart from it is free and it is fantastic to have people um sharing the journey with us yeah so i hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time we put out a video mm -hmm.